Today's project is part one of fitting a Bass Daisy girdle. We gotta get these caps made it up to this girdle. Let's do it. Today we're working on how to fit a girdle. So doing a three liter stroker build, um, one of the things we have to do is machine the main caps so there's no uneven loading on this stuff. So uh, we're on the way to the machine shop right now. It's bright and early in sunny Phoenix, Arizona. 5.55 in the morning. So, lowered car life. Anyway. The first step to fitting the main caps is making sure that they're all nice and even. We're going to start off by milling off both sides of the cap where you have your four main bolts so that they're all equal height. We want to make sure that there's no uneven loading introduced by differences in main cap heights. Once we do that, we'll move on to the center bolt where we're just trying to match the profile of the girdle. We'll visit this later on in the video. You want to take off as little as possible to make everything even. There's no sense in taking away too much material. Once we're done milling both sides of the caps, we're going to zero out the z-axis of the machine. We're going to then measure the step up to the center of the cap and use that measurement to determine how much vertically we're going to raise the z-axis. From there, we raise the z-axis, make a pass or two to make sure they're nice and even, and the caps are done. Here we are making a pass across the top of the caps. This should pretty much wrap up the machine work that's needed on the main caps. You'll be able to install them from this point after. This is exactly the fitment that your machining should provide you. You'll see the three surfaces that are machined. Don't forget to number the caps when you're done. The machining you did removed the factory markings. You want to make sure they go back in the right spot. That's it for part one. Join us later for part two, clearancing the oil pan.